What you may call a simple disease might require further laboratory scrutiny. Flu, which most people take lightly or often mistake for a common cold, may turn out deadly as different viruses cause it. And this can only be identified in a lab before developing into full-blown pneumonia or complicating an asthmatic's life. Of course, some people are misdiagnosed in the laboratories. Others are judged based on science. The fact that I trust the doctors in my life and they make a decision on my behalf which affects me in the long run is just not fair. Over time, there have been many challenges in the country's laboratories, especially regarding equipment and reagents, specifically in upcountry hospitals. The Ministry of Health embarked on a new strategy called laboratory accreditation, taking laboratories through various stages to improve the quality of their work. Congratulations. It is this turnaround that probably led to Uganda being recognized during the 2012 First International Scientific Conference in Cape Town, South Africa of the African Society of Laboratory Medicine for best laboratory practice on the African continent. The awards were in the following areas. One, early infant diagnosis by the Central Public Health Laboratories. Two, TB program by the National Tuberculosis Reference Laboratory. Three, the Infectious Disease Institute Laboratory by the Makere University John Hopkins University Core Laboratory at Infectious Diseases Institute. A specimen transportation network for early infant diagnosis of HIV has been established in the country. The same is being integrated to accommodate TB, surveillance and outbreak investigations. Motorcycle riders collect specimens from per peripheral health facilities throughout the country and deposit them at one of the 19, soon to be 72, laboratory hubs with extended testing capacity. Still, the country gets help from other East African countries when there are deadly outbreaks such as Ebola. The East African Public Health Laboratory Network which works cross-border between laboratories in the different uh, countries. We did support Uganda. EXA actually sent uh, specialists from Kenya, Tanzania, Burundi, and Rwanda to Uganda, the, the scientists who were supporting them in the, in the response. Now a project called the East African Laboratory Improvement is being implemented in the region with the hope of extending it to most African countries. That's a project that intends to improve diagnostics, uh, improve the way we approach issues, and we expect that uh, with this project, which has commenced, we shall be able to assist each other as countries when we have outbreaks including outbreaks of diseases that we had not known before. Uganda is now considering constructing an ultra-modern national public health laboratory in Butabika early this year, supported by the U.S. government. The government is to establish a network of high-quality laboratories in 16 general and regional hospitals under the East African Public Health Laboratory Networking Project. On the issue of uh, Butabika and cost, uh, it is going to cost us slightly over two million US dollars. Then the National Health Laboratory, which is going to replace the Central Public Health Laboratories, is going to cost us approximately uh, five million US dollars. The laboratories are now at a point when they can stand on their own and provide the services that are required. But that does not mean we do not need the partners anymore because we want to move even further. A challenge that may water down the Minister of Health's achievements could be the inadequate human resource, which is never forthcoming, despite the beautifully drawn up policies and guidelines, plus the supplies. Florence Nalimba, NTV.